We all love transitions here in DaVinci Resolve and video editing. Why? Because they're just cool, right? So you might pick up a third party set of transitions from someplace like Motion Ray, the sponsor of today's video, or you might pick them up from somewhere else uh, on the internet, maybe some of our favorite creators, you picked up some of their transitions and you don't know how to install it in DaVinci Resolve. So today we are gonna walk through step-by-step -step how you install some third party transitions into DaVinci Resolve so that you can go ahead and slap them on your video, make your videos look really cool. Today's video is sponsored by Motion Array. We are gonna be installing a set of their transitions. So the process for your particular transitions should be similar. Um, it may be a little bit different. Just a heads up here up front, may be a little different. Follow the instructions that come with your transitions. But here is how you might install some transitions that you would get from Motion Array. By the way, if you don't have a Motion Array account, you can sign up for free and grab some freebies on there. I use the free account for a long time too. There's music, there's transitions, there's templates, video files, there's audio files, there's sound effects, there's there's photos, motion graphics, you name it. There is a ton of awesome stuff on there. Or if you like it and you want to sign up for a full year, you can save 50 bucks by using that link in the description below. 50 bucks, that's a good savings right there. So let's jump in this video. I'm going to show you how to select the transitions, download them, and then we're going to get them installed into DaVinci Resolve. So you can just drag and drop them onto your video clips, just like any other transitions that are already built into DaVinci Resolve. So it's easier than you might think. Let's jump in Resolve and check it out. In order to install awesome transitions, we first need to get some awesome transitions. Transitions. I'm going to grab mine from Motion Array here. I'm going to come on up to the top on their website, go to presets, all the way over to DaVinci Resolve Macros. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, once we're in here, we can see we've got a bunch of different things that we're looking at. And what we want to do is come on over to the left and click on Transitions because I only want to see the transitions for what we're doing right now. Now, you can scroll through here. There are tons of awesome transitions. You can just hover over, you know, one of the thumbnails here and it's going to show you the different transitions that come as part of that pack. But I did save a few that I thought were pretty cool. So I'm going to come on up to my account, go to my collections, come into my transition collections. And this is the one we're going to be installing today the psychedelic 3d transitions so pretty cool something that i haven't really seen before transitions that look like that so first thing i'm gonna do go ahead and download your transitions you hit the little download button here and it's gonna go ahead and download it to your machine now once the transitions are downloaded they're in my downloads folder you can see it right here psychedelic transitions i'm just gonna go ahead and put that in my project folder just so i've got it in an easier place to work with so i recommend that you might want to keep all of your assets in a particular place or a certain folder maybe on your hard drive just so that way you've got everything in place in case you need to reinstall anything in the future. So for me, I like to keep all of the assets I'm gonna use on a project in a folder on my external hard drive. I keep them there so that if it's something I can put in a power bin, I can just grab everything from one folder, boom, and drop it in, or in this case, with the transitions, if I ever need to reinstall them in the future, I know where everything is. So for me, I use a Samsung T5 SSD. I keep all of my assets on there. I have a motion array folder, then again, inside there, a folder for transitions. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste my new transitions in there. Go ahead and double click on it to unzip the file. Once that zip file opens, you're going to see a folder that has additional folders inside of it. So if we click on it, you see we have a folder for fonts. Now this is a transition, so we don't have fonts. You've got a help folder here, which gives you instructions. And then you have the actual transitions themselves, which are dot setting files. So if I come back to help here, you've got a video tutorial. You can watch how they install them, which is super helpful. Or you can just come right here and click on the DaVinci Resolve macro. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now in here, this is a really helpful sheet here because it tells you exactly where you need to put these particular transitions so that they appear in DaVinci Resolve. So just take a look at it here. If you are on Windows, if you have effects, generators, titles, transitions, whichever one you're trying to install, this is the path where you're going to want to put that. So in your case, transitions right here, that is where you're going to want to copy and paste the transitions into that folder. If you're on a Mac like I am, right down here, transitions, this is the folder where we're going to put those transitions. Now, I'm assuming at this point, everybody is probably on DaVinci Resolve 16.2 or higher. If you are in 16.1 or lower, come on, man, you got to upgrade. What are you waiting for? There is some awesome new features here, especially if you upgrade to 18.5, new betas. Now, if you're doing any work for clients, wait on the beta. I would wait on that. But for me, I upgraded to the beta so that I can share all the awesome stuff with you guys. So for the most part, you're going to be looking up here at the 16.2 and higher file locations. So on my Mac here, I've navigated to where these transition files are supposed to go. So I'm going to come back to the folder I downloaded that has the dot setting files in it. Go ahead and select all of them. I'm going to copy using command or control C. Go back to the folder that it was listed in that sheet as far as where you should put your transitions. I'm in the transitions folder here. I'm just going to select right click 
and paste 12 items. So now those guys are pasted in there. Now when we open DaVinci Resolve, we should see them under our transition. So let's go check that out. So we have Resolve open. I've got a few clips in the timeline we're going to use as samples here. Let's go find those transitions and see if they loaded into Resolve. So I'm going to come on up to my effects library. Oh, by the way, I am in the edit tab because I like the edit tab. That's where I do all my work. So I'm going to come on up to the top here, effects, click on that. We're going to make sure we're under video transitions. And then I'm just going to scroll down and we should see, yes, our transitions that we installed right here. And just like any of your other transitions in DaVinci Resolve, you can scrub over them and you're going to see a little preview in your viewer there. These are some cool transitions. I got to be honest. These are cool. I haven't seen ones like this before. I like these guys. So let's just uh, pick this first one. We're going to go ahead and drag and drop it between our two clips. I'm just going to pick a few different ones of these. We're going to just drag and drop them on there. And then we're going to watch this together and see how it looks. Just randomly picking some. I'm not even exactly sure what they all look like, but it does give you a little description on there as far as what they're going to do. Up right, up left, kind of cool. So you see we get the little red bar at the top here, which means Resolve is rendering that in the background for me. So I can just play through it once we get the blue bars there. We're going to be good to go. Let's go ahead and play through this and see how these transitions look. So I got to say, these do look pretty cool. I haven't seen transitions like this before. I like the effect that they give. They render up easy. They play through no problem. It works out really well here to just play through these clips with these transitions in there. And even if you click on the transitions and then open your inspector, you're going to have some options of different things that you can change. You can customize it as you can with a lot of transitions. So depending on the transitions you pick from Motion Ray or wherever else, you may have options of things that you can adjust in there to customize them the way that you would like. If you really like a transition that you downloaded from Motion Ray and you want to make it your default transition, you could do that really easy. So if you just come into your transitions here in your effects library, select whatever transition you want, you can make it a favorite. So it'll pop up down here in our favorites menu. Or if you don't want to do that, you want it to be the default, like I just mentioned. So that way, when you use the keyboard shortcut to add a transition, this will be the transition that gets added when you use that keyboard shortcut. Just right click on your transition, say set as standard transition. And then that transition is going to be the default transition for using the keyboard shortcut so you can quickly add transitions between clips. Installing transitions here from Motion Ray in DaVinci Resolve. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Our Motion Ray has a ton of awesome transitions that you can pick from on their website. But if you have any other kind of transitions, your process might be slightly different on how to bring those into Resolve. Check out the instructions that come with your pack. But if you're working with anything from Motion Ray, this is how you can go ahead and drop them in there really quick and really easy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace. Hit that transition. Peace. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.